so what is circuit breaker in microservices and before that what is circuit breaker in general and why it came into picture in microservices so welcome to green ladder in this video we are going to understand all about circuit breakers and how many providers are there for circuit breaker and how to use and why they are used in microservices right so let's go ahead and start what is circuit breaker all about so this is a design pattern this is a design pattern sorry for the spelling mistake for software development okay so in general circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by excess current from an overload or short circuit in an electrical circuit if there is an bulb and this is the wire which is providing the electricity electricity is flowing through and at some point here there is circuit kind of if you can say it is a fuse if there is an overflow of electric current so to prevent the failure of this equipment whether it can be bulb washing machine or any other expensive equipment this excess of electricity or something in failure in electricity makes fail this switch this fuse so at this point circuit is bro broken and electricity is now not passing through this so it is safeguarding your mic safeguarding your equipment which is very expensive by cutting the circuit at this point so before cutting the circuit this circuit was was complete meaning its circuit was closed okay but now when fuse is blown circuit is open now so electricity is not flowing same pattern is applied in microservices also okay see its basic function is to interrupt current flow after a fault is detected right fault can be anything it can be overflow of current or any other stuff okay so see same can be applied to our microservices also this is the client which is making use of the microservices that are over there and this is the supplier which is providing the kind of your particular service okay and this is the circuit breaker in between so when you are making call to supplier of the services that are there so instead of making direct call to supplier you wrap that call into this circuit breaker so you are making the call to services through circuit breaker call is going to supplier but through circuit breaker and this circuit breaker is implementing certain features to handle the failures uh, if there are any and if there are your service is taking more time to respond on that basis circuit breaker is handling that also so let's see one by one if there is any connection problem then there is time out you can set a time out after which it will return from the circuit breaker itself so when you make it to call to service set time out so it is making failure due to time out so this is trying to make call this supplier service to get the response but after certain time out that you have set it will be back so your client will get response and this is will not be waiting for infinite time okay so you saved yourself from waiting infinitely right time matters when you have many more services and many other resources you cannot keep waiting on one service uh, to get the response so you get the proper response from circuit breaker there is there is some problem with this supplier with this service is going on and you carry on other stuffs okay and if there are many failures you are passing 10th request per second 100 request per second so it had some limit after which th this circuit will be broken this circuit breaker will be open like in that overflow of electricity opened the circuit by blowing the fuse so now the call that you are making to supplier will not go to this resource this service it will be returned from this only from circuit breaker itself making 
responding to client that I am taking care of the supplier and I will be checking that until then you carry on other steps that you are doing. So it is not failing the entire system that you have. Okay, it is just failing a particular request that you are making and responding you properly that something bad is going on with this. Okay, so you get a proper response without blocking anything. Let's go ahead and see further. This is the state diagram that I am going to show you. So these are the different stages of circuit. When circuit is closed, then everything is fine and any request that is going there is passing through this circuit breaker is making proper request to supplier. Okay, so circuit is closed means everything is fine. Success response is getting here, success response is getting here. So you set a threshold for threshold for failure. How many after how many failures you want to open the circuit? Okay. So if that failure is within the threshold that if there are 100 requests per second and if you want that if there are 10 requests which are failing in per second that should be the threshold if there are more than 10 failures per second you open the circuit and your failure is 9 requests per second so it will not open the circuit it will keep close the circuit and you will be getting the response properly that can be and that is logical also because there is some maybe some temporary connection issue or something like that. Okay, But if threshold is reached then circuit is open. So any call further any call to the supplier or service is getting back from the circuit breaker itself. And in the meantime your circuit breaker your circuit is trying to make call. Before making call there is another one state that is half open. Half open means when you are calling to the service through circuit breaker it will make a single request to check the service that whether it is up or not if it is up it will reset the timeout that it has for the threshold okay and it will respond it will uh, tell the circuit breaker that everything is fine with the service now and you can make directly call to the sub service so this is taking care of that also checking the service in meantime when you are calling the when you are calling the service through circuit breaker okay so these are the different states closed open half open open means every request is getting back from the circuit breaker itself it is not going to service at all half open means it is if there are 10 requests per second it is making call one request per second to check whether the service is up or not based on that it is resetting the circuit in this case open or close okay if it is success it closes the circuit again and every request gets passed through the circuit breaker and gets to the service that it is responding okay so this is the state diagram and you should understand properly to get the understanding when we will see in the demo next what is cascading failures okay so cascading failure from the term itself it is very clear Failure at one service results in failure to the calling service and this failure goes on to the application who made the initial call. If I show you the, with this with the diagram, so if it is the main app that we have, okay, so this main app is making call to this service one and as you know, your application is made of many services, many functions and this service is an, again going to call service S11. And this also can ultimately make call another service S triple one. Okay, so this main app is depend on S one, and this is depending on S one. Suppose there is some failure at this end S triple one, and this failure will be responded to this S one one one. And if it is so, this is also failing. This will be taken back to S1 also. This will also get the failure and ultimately your app also will get failure. So your app is failing because of failure in this service. So failure is being passed to the main app right here. So this is known as cascading failure. Failure in one service resulting in failure of your app. Okay. So how to handle it? Tolerate the failures at this point only where it is generating. Tolerate means catch it or do something around that. And same thing is handle failure. What failure is coming, what error, what exception it is giving. Based on that, 
handle it intelligently in, at this point itself where your this service is calling this one okay so it will not be it the failure will not be passed to the other services as one one and this main app so your main app will be working properly functioning properly where whereas this service is failed so some default behavior you can configure that if it is failed you do this okay do not, do not throw exception or do something like that stupid which makes failure main app okay so circuit breaker again spelling mistake sorry for that circuit breaker pattern provider so circuit breaker is a design pattern for microservices in general so there is there are many implementation providers over in the market so you can use any of them based on the advantages and disadvantages that you want your an application so let's see one by one hystrix hystrix is provided by netflix okay so netflix is the real time video streaming website so they have implemented hystrix in internal application to take care of the failures in services so you can make use of this spring retry so spring team at pivot they have also come with this spring retry you know, which is implementing the circuit breaker design pattern and last one is the resilience 4j this is also there and hystrix resilience 4j spring retry all of them are popular and you can use make use of any of them uh, based on the requirement that you have in your application so there can be many more in the market also so i am going to explain you in the demo this netflix and resilience 4j also and if needed i will explain retry also because the whatever feature is the retry is giving is in resilience 4j also and it is very easy to use and it is also resilience 4j is inspired by the netflix hystrix so hystrix came first in the market after that resilience 4j is there so and also it is focusing on functional pro programming and java 8 features that you have okay so it's better to use resilience 4j or as per your requirement in your application so we will see these in one by one with detailed example in subsequent videos okay so these are the references that you can go ahead martin fowler circuit breaker resilience 4j and github this resilience 4j and netflix official doc also for hystrix so this is the basic introduction about circuit breaker and design pattern what it is all about and why it is in microservices in next videos i'll be explaining you about uh, hystrix and with the with an example and then going forward i'll explain you resilience 4g also so till then you play around with this and understand this theory again okay so i'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye